Hi, this is Alex Richter, head of the City Wing Chun Athletic Association. I'm super excited to be making this video because I'm gonna outline all the procedures for getting back into regular training. During phase one, we're going to adhere to social distancing practices and we have a bunch of new procedures that we're gonna follow. These are the regulations we've instated for the City Wing Chun Athletic Association and these are the ones we're using in the headquarters. Some partner schools might have some variations depending on their check-in procedures. So you'll have to make sure you check with your local instructor to get all the exact procedures. If you have any symptoms, fever, cough, or anything similar, we ask that you don't come to training at all. Don't be surprised when we tell you in a special Kung Fu way that you gotta go home. The check-in procedures are gonna be a little bit different during phase one. So you're actually going to use your phone to scan in a QR code. After you scan in for attendance, a City Wing Chun staff member is gonna check your temperature with an infrared thermometer. Anyone who has a temperature of over 100 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna to have to go home. Hygiene is always a big deal at City Wing Chun, but even more so during this phase one. When you arrive at City Wing Chun, we ask that the first thing you do is to go ahead and wash your hands thoroughly. We have touchless faucets as well as touchless soap dispensers. After you wash your hands, we also have hand sanitizing stations. If at any moment during training you feel that you need to wash your hands again, please do not hesitate to do so. And while supplies last, City Wing Chun students will receive their own City Wing Chun hand sanitizer. Before coming to class, you're gonna to have to register for a spot online at waitwhile.com. This website will allow you to register for a spot as class sizes are limited due to social distancing. You're gonna to need to make sure that you do this before you come into class to guarantee a spot. We're still gonna be streaming classes online through Zoom. And this is also for those of you who don't feel comfortable coming in yet, or for whatever reason, you're not gonna make it into the city. So please make sure you check the Google Classroom to be updated on the latest class schedule. The locker rooms are gonna be closed during phase is one so just come in your uniform ready to go if during training you get thirsty and you want some refreshments instead of grabbing the water yourself out of the refrigerator go ahead and ask a city wing chun staff or your instructor to get you a water and they'll do it for you during phase one all city wing chun instructors and staff will be wearing masks so we ask that all students in compliance with cdc and who guidelines wear a mask before after and during training Obviously training with a mask on can be a bit challenging when it comes to more vigorous types of training. So for that reason, most of the training is gonna be more on the technical side. Now for a killer workout, we're still gonna be streaming our fitness classes so you can do all your workouts in the comfort of your own home with minimal equipment. Just like in Wing Chun, there's a right way and a wrong way to do certain things. It's of absolute importance that you wear your mask properly. Not like this. Not like this. This certainly doesn't cut it. I don't even know what's going on here. That's it right there. Wing Chun is a martial art that's all about adaptation, the ability to adapt. Well, of course, we have to apply this adaptation to phase one of getting back into training. Obviously, the training is gonna be a little bit different, but it allows us to focus on other aspects as well. We have worked together with our instructors to come up with a program that's very challenging, and we've come up with programs that are both suitable for beginners as well as our advanced students. The flooring at City Wing Chun schools is gonna be marked with square yellow hover strips. Social distancing guidelines ask us to stay at least six feet away. At City Wing Chun, we actually put our hover strips eight feet away to allow for a little bit of a buffer zone. Students are to practice their techniques essentially hovering around this area. There's a little bit of leeway to move freely around your hover strip and still maintain social distancing. City Wing Chun students may use the equipment that we have at the school with an instructor's permission. After using the equipment, however, we ask that you sanitize it for the next person's use to ensure the safety of all of our students. In between classes, common surfaces are gonna be sanitized. City Wing Chun staff will clean the school before the next group of students comes in. City Wing Chun's gonna be monitoring the situation. So as things get better, we will be able to move into a phase two and then a phase three, and then hopefully we will get back to training as normal. But before then, we will do everything we can to ensure that the training is absolutely safe for everyone who comes in. I'm so excited to get back to training. I'm so excited to see all of the students. See you guys on the training floor.